In this video, we're going to be looking at the overhead press or strict press, which means we're not creating any force from the lower body in terms of a dip and a drive to propel the barbell overhead. Now, this exercise can be just referred to as the press. So we're pressing a barbell from this position to overhead. Now, during this press, we get what's called upward rotation of the scapula or the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades should do this. This creates more room between the supraspinatus tendon and the acromion, which is this bony prominence right here. So the supraspinatus is a rotator cuff that comes across the spine of the scapula underneath the acromion and inserts onto the head of the humerus here. If our shoulder blades do not rotate upwards, we can often find we get a little bit of impingement, what's referred to as subacromial impingement. Now, a great exercise to work that action is a serratus wall slide, which is done with a foam roller. So when we press overhead, we're in this position here, barbell to the front. As we press overhead, the head's back. However, the shoulder blades rotate upwards, and this takes our torso through underneath the barbell. So the barbell finishes over the back of the neck. So let's take a quick look at the exercise. Point to note. I'm going to take the barbell off from this side of the rack, which we wouldn't normally do. However, it provides us with the best camera angle. Another point to note during the overhead press, the shoulder has about 165 degrees of flexion. The rest comes from the thoracic spine. Therefore, if we have poor mobility through the thoracic spine and the latissimus dorsi, we will struggle to press overhead. So we'll take the bar overhead like so, this isn't an efficient position to hold the barbell, so we'll compensate with the lower spine. Hence why some individuals feel that the overhead press can be quite stressful on the lower spine. But point to note, it's all about do you have the strength to accommodate the stress? Some elite level lifters will lean right back to press the weight overhead as it maximizes chest engagement and builds momentum without driving from the knees. So let's take a quick look. I like to set the barbell a little bit lower so I can get right underneath it, just like a front squat. Now for a true overhead strict press, or simply the press, we have the elbows underneath the barbell so we're not in a front wrap position. So I'll grab the barbell slightly wider than shoulder width. I can take a full grip or a false grip. Benefit of the false grip is it places the barbell on the base of the palm, which is great as we bring the arm underneath, nice straight line into the barbell. Where we see some people go wrong is the wrist is kinked back, so we've got this nice straight line, and then we've got this kink, which isn't great for the wrist. So taking this full grip, directly under the bar, pushing the elbows out and forward slightly of the barbell to align the radius with the bar. So it's key to note, I don't want the elbow like this, like this, like this, or this. If it's a pillar supporting a roof, it's going to be directly underneath. Where people go wrong is they tuck their elbows in. So as they're bringing the barbell down, they tuck their elbows in. We want them elbows out in this nice, strong, spreaded position. So it's almost like we're spreading the lats, keeping the torso nice and tight. So let's have a look. Wouldn't normally take off in that direction, but it's the ideal camera angle. From here, head back, engage the core, squeeze the glutes, no drive, no dip from the legs. We simply press. As it goes past the head, our shoulder blades rotate upwards and the barbell finishes over the back of the neck. Coming down, elbows stay forwards and out. So we keep that tension through the upper body. And we press again. Coming back down, keep the tension. So where people go wrong is they often do this. Elbows back. Imagine having 100 kilos in your hands like this. It's just not feasible. So elbows underneath, extend the thoracic spine, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, press overhead into this position and back down. Quick tip, just because the first press is concentric only, so it's got no eccentric phase, some lifters will often have a slight bounce before pressing. And then we can use that eccentric phase on the way down to provide a little bit of momentum.